Hi, this is Dr. Vivek. In this video, I'll be sharing with you how to treat the parasites with the use of the herbs. It is very effective. Yes, parasites can be treated with the help of the herbs. I have seen in my own practice, I'll be sharing my own experience in the treatment. Maybe it will be helpful for you also. First of all, the symptoms. If a person has parasites, I have a whole video about it. Over here, I'll tell some of the main symptoms of it. It is itching in the anus. This is the first and important signal that a person has the parasites in the body. Second is not comfortable in the stomach, nausea, these kinds of. Third is the fatigue, means tiredness. Fourth is weight loss. Person eats normally but can't see good effects on the body and the weight is dropping slowly. This can be because of the parasite. So these are the symptoms. If it is, you have to treat the parasites. Now, what I have seen, what is the reason that a person gets parasites? Any kinds of parasite I'm talking about. I have seen it is mainly because of the not good pH of the stomach. If the pH of the stomach gets disbalanced, this gives the chance to the bacteria, the viruses and the parasites to grow. If they get in our body through the food and the pH is not good, what will happen? They will easily sustain in our body. They will find the place to sit around and they will create the problems for us. So in this, drinking lemon water every day in the morning, either using apple cider vinegar, it's gonna help you. So if you had this and it reoccurs, it's better to work on your pH rather than treating the parasites. Another reason is not good functioning of the liver because the bile will be not reduced in good quantity and quality and this bile is responsible to balance the pH of the stomach and you will not have the pH and this in turn will create the problems. The treatment is good, doing good exercises, eating right food, not giving any load for our liver. There are many herbs that helps with the liver. I have some of the videos. I'll put the links down below if you're interested. You can have a look. But if you want to get rid of parasites, you should have good liver, good quality and quantity of bile. Now let's move towards the treatment. For treatment, first let's move towards our kitchen, what we have in our kitchen. Mostly we all use garlic. If you don't use and you have parasite, start using it. It's easily available. So garlic juice you can drink. Use garlic in your food. Anyhow, start using garlic. Nowadays there are capsules of garlic, tablets of garlic. In that way, start using it. Another thing is clove. Cloves are very good against the parasites. Start using cloves. You can just use one or two cloves, just put them in your mouth and just suck it slowly, slowly. This can help. This will increase the immunity of your oral cavity also. Very good for your teeth, for your gums and plus for your immunity also and will help to remove the parasites also. Either just add the cloves when you are cooking, either the clove powder in any form. You can add clove to your tea also while you are boiling the tea or if you have hot water, just pour the cloves over there and just drink it. Now let's move towards the herbs. Only two herbs in Ayurveda, the holistic medical science. I will recommend those are very good in fighting with the parasites. I have seen the tremendous results in my practice. The first one is known as Vidang. This is totally herbal. It's an herb. You can find it on internet. Why Vidang? Vidang different names are over there and I will try to put the link down below in the description box if you are not familiar with this stuff. So use this powder one teaspoon two times in a day empty stomach. It's not at all tasty. I'm telling you right now if you are ready to eat not tasty stuff you can mix it in a glass or a half glass of warm water and you can drink it. Either you can just take the powder and drink the water as you are comfortable but use Vidang, it is gonna help you. Even Vidang will help you in digestion also. It will help you to clean your liver also and it's very good for the skin also. So lots of effects of Vidang. Start using it if you have any of the issues. Second herb is Creamy Kuthar Ras. Very hard name. That's why I'm writing over here. Creamy in Sanskrit means parasites. Kuthar means that removes. Ras means you can say tablets. So, creamy kuthar ras, very good medicine, has to be taken two tablets two times in a day, 30 minutes after food. How much? 
for 25 days. 25 days to one month, you can take this tablet and then you have to stop taking Krimi Kuthar Ras. These all doses I am telling for the elder people, for kids from 6 to 12 years, just half the dose, whatever I have said, lower than that, it's better to concern to your doctor because it will be hard for the kids smaller than this age group to use all these herbs. There are many syrup forms also, try to go for them, but not this herb and tablet. So, so use these all recommendations and you will get the results. Vidang powder you can use for two months continuously and clove and garlic if you are comfortable use it also for two months without any gap in between. This is what I have seen gives effect using apple cider vinegar also you have to use it and plus lemon juice. Use all this in combination and these things can help you. I hope this information will be helpful for you and your near ones. Smile more, stay happy, stay healthy.